This is Ice Cream Gecko and in today's video we're going to take a look at the McDonald's cheeseburger. I bought this for 1 euro and 59 cents at my local McDonald's and it is um, pushing out its ingredients all by itself. <laughs> we see here the cheeseburger and then we go for some nail. It, it doesn't really look all that appetizing as well. It's very similar to the hamburger that we took a look at previously. It doesn't really invite itself to something at all. Uh, let us slice this in half right away, right? Because this one seems to be a bit more uh, a bit more homogenous when it comes to giving up its own ingredients uh, apart from the ketchup it seems at least. When we take a look at this like this push this aside and pretend that we are recording a thumbnail right now looks a bit better like this, yeah, it, it, it really does. Sandwise it smells very similar to the hamburger itself, but um, there is something else to it, which would be the cheese, or something that some people would actually call cheese. I think it's a mistake to call this stuff right here cheese. It's some sort of cheese-like substitute, that's for certain. We've got onion pieces right there, diced onions, some, some mustard, a good bit of ketchup right here. The uh, pickle looks a bit sad, which is unfortunate. I've got a cheese right here, or a cheese substitute that's melted well into the, or onto the uh, patty itself. The patty looks just like the regular hamburger patty right here at the bottom, and nothing is at the bottom except, yeah, except for some, some burnt fat right there at the very bottom. Some burnt pieces of previous hamburger and cheeseburger patties, I suppose. Let's um, get some of that excess. Access ketchup right here. We paid for this. One euro and uh, 59 cents is what I paid for this. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. Let's give it a bit of a taste test. So, interestingly, this should be just a regular hamburger with a bit of cheese on it, cheese substitute slice on it. But this right here, it um, it seems to, to fill a lot more volume in the mouth than the regular hamburger does, and, and more volume than this stuff right here should make up, which is interesting. Um, overall, it does have a, a more rounded flavor to it. You do taste a bit more, at least it feels like it tastes a bit more than just the patty and the ketchup. And uh, the pickle that we just heard me crunch on was about uh, a lot less sad than I than I thought it would be. It looked sad. It wasn't quite as sad. Made some noises while I ate it. Maybe it was just crying out for life, something like that. But it has been sliced before, so I don't really know what its problem was. Anyway, I'm gonna finish up this half. Yeah, but same story here in the in the following couple of bites. Maybe it's just this particular half that's different. Um, but it feels a lot more. A lot richer in, in actual mass that you're eating right here with just that bit of cheese. You pay 20 cents more than the regular hamburger. Do not know if that sort of stuff here is worth 20 cents per slice, but overall it, it feels nice in your mouth. It, it, yeah, you really have got a bit more to bite on, a lot more volume it seems of food that it, that it fills up in your mouth, which is interesting, something that I did not expect. The consumption process is complete and we're ready to rate this with the review sheet. First impression wise, it has been very similar to the regular hamburger, so it doesn't really differ much in the rating in that regard. Uh, only that cheese substitute added to it, nothing else looked a lot different. Color wise, uh, the individual ingredients looked as they should. The bread, the pickle, the single pickle, uh, the meat, the ketchup, the diced onions, the I don't know what to call it, the pea-sized dot of mustard <laughs> is what I, what I think it was inside of there. Yeah, all of the stuff looked as it should when it comes to the color itself. Consistency and texture-wise, while it did disintegrate just as quickly as the regular hamburger does, it does provide a bit more volume in your mouth, which is something that I didn't really expect. It. Um, it, it's not a world of difference, but it is more pleasant to eat and it feels like you're actually eating something that um, is going to fill you up in some way. I mean, it really does it, this McDonald's, so 
it, it just doesn't you're hungry like 15 minutes after this again so but um, it, it at least gives the impression that it does something that that provides nutrients in a lasting way which it doesn't <laughs> taste wise 3.5 out of 5 i think it has been fine um nothing too special about it it's like a hamburger with a bit of cheese on it although i have to say that the cheese does add a bit of a bit of rounding off the flavor it's it's not just the meat anymore with the ketchup the ketchup is quite sweet in this mcdonald's stuff and it's a bit a bit sour as well a bit of acidity to it that i really enjoy but the cheese itself that or that fake cheese american cheese cheese substitute something like that i think it's i don't know how to call it properly without offending somebody so i just say cheese substitute from now on um that really does something to it that makes it well, more palatable, I would say. Takes a bit of the edge of that acidity of the ketchup itself. Fine overall though, with the pickle, everything decent. 3.5 out of 5 points. Theme realization wise, uh, this is a cheeseburger, like the hamburger is a hamburger, and it's it's not a particularly good one. Like you're gonna be hungry right after this again, so it doesn't really saturate the hunger lastingly, and it's not all that cheap anymore nowadays, so. I don't really know why to buy this nowadays. I mean, they, they used to be like one euro for the hamburger, the cheeseburger, and the chicken burger. And that was great, like three bucks and you had a decent meal. Then the chicken burger got more expensive, which I could, you know, understand. But um, the other two, the hamburger and the cheeseburger, got more expensive too. And then only the hamburger was one euro. And now even the hamburger is 139. So um, we are at prices uh, which is just... It's just more economical and more tasty to get a pre-made sandwich from Aldi. At least in my opinion, this is that way. So I don't really know why you would get a cheeseburger from McDonald's. Anyway, 7 out of 10 is the final rating for the McDonald's cheeseburger for €1.59 from a local McDonald's. If you've got a question or a video suggestion, leave it in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I hope I'm going to see you soon. Until then, bye-bye.